So I was midway through editing the video you're about to see right now, and Discord.py had just been reinstated, and it's back in development. I'm not sure what I'm really going to do at the moment. I'm still deciding my options, but I will try and decide on what I'm going to do. There's still a bunch of things that I have to do, such as if I do sw decide to switch, such as, I guess, just redo a bunch of videos and all of that. But it really depends which, I guess, if the pros outweigh the cons. Once again, I'm not 100% sure yet, but yeah, enjoy the video. In last video, we went over the basics of adding a pause, resume, and stop command, or disconnect also, because it was also pretty easy. But today we're going to be stepping it up. We're going to be adding two things that a Discord bot or a music bot needs to have, a queue system and a loop system. This allows people to actually stack up songs that they want to play, and then if they want to loop one certain song on replay, which I've done sometimes, it's pretty nice, they can do that if they want to. And the reason I've dedicated this to a separate video is because it's not just like this where you can do vc.q and it just doesn't work like that. We actually have to make it ourselves. At least the Q system is fairly built into Wavelink. The loop system is not, so we have to create that ourselves. This may sound very complicated and hard to do. Honestly, it's just a couple lines of code and yeah, hit the intro. And now this is where the queue system and all of that will actually start. So what we're going to do at bot.event and inside here we're going to do async def on wavelink track underscore n. And yes, wavelink has their own built in, I guess, events that we're going to be utilizing. So player is wavelink.player. And then track is, you guessed it, wavelength.track. And then lastly, reason is right there. We're not really going to be using reason, but just it. the docs have them in there. So we're just going to keep them here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do, we're first going to instantiate a couple of variables. So ctx will be player.ctx. You'll see what we'll do with that. And then vc player equals ctx dot voice underscore client like so and now we're going to do if vc dot loop so if there is a loop right then we can do return await vc dot play await vc dot play track but then we can also do and then lastly what we're going to do is next song equals vc dot q get so we're gonna and this for our key system here await vc dot play next song and then lastly we're just gonna send a confirmation message saying await ctx dot send now playing next song dot title like so and it's literally that easy this is just most of our code it's going to be handling all of our queue and looping systems but basically what it does is when the track ends then it's going to fire this event and it'll check okay if you have loop enabled now if you do then it's just going to play that same exact track that ended again but now it's going to check let's say this returns false now it's going to check if the queue is empty if there are no more songs coming after that if there aren't then it's just going to leave the free c because we don't want our bot just staying in the vc forever and then lastly, we have, okay, let's say both of these return false. It's just going to play the next song in our queue system. And then we're going to modify our play command. So it can actually work with our queue system and doesn't overlap over all of the other songs. So what it's going to be is we're going to just remove all of this stuff right here. And then we're going to create another if statement, which is if vc.q is empty and vc dot is underscore not playing is playing like so then what we want to do is await vc dot play search 
and then await ctx.send. Now playing search.title. So basically, we're just going through and we're checking if there are any more songs in the queue. If there aren't, then in if the if there's no song that's being played currently, then we're just gonna play whatever song they request. But let's say now we have to add an else, right? Because what if there is? Then we're just gonna do vc dot q dot put underscore wait, and then we're just gonna search, pass and search. So what this will do is this will just say, okay, there's already a song playing, so I'm just gonna put this to the back of the queue, and it'll get around to that shortly. And then we can just send a confirmation message saying, oh wait, ctx.send, added search.title to the queue. Now, lastly, what we wanna do is we're gonna do vc.ctx equals ctx. And then we're gonna do set attr and inside here we're going to do vc loop and then false so every time the when the play command is ran we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna do all this and then we're also gonna set an attribute vc.ctx which we can then grab over here that's why i did it and because we can't use ctx inside of an event we have to import it somehow and then this also creates another variable of VC called loop, and it just sets that to false. Pretty cool, and yeah. But now we're done with the play command. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to loop and queue, and loop and queue will be a lot faster because now we actually set everything up. Okay, so now after we have this, we're gonna do, we're gonna put in a try statement saying, try VC.loop, and what this is, it's a toggle, so, true so basically if it's true then it'll switch it to false if it's false then it'll switch it to true this automatically handles that and then we can do accept okay there we go then we're gonna uh, add this once again so if that doesn't exist then we're just gonna do this and we might want to do exception also so now that we have that, we can also do one last thing, which is if loop if vc dot loop, because it will be created now. It's do a return await ctx dot send loop is now enabled, and now a simple else statement would do saying return await ctx dot send loop is now disabled and there we go that's essentially it and yeah that's our loop command now i'm gonna set up our queue i guess just like a baseline okay after we have this and this is all good what i'm we're actually gonna do for our queue is pretty simple if vc.q is empty we're just gonna do queue is empty and then we're going to do say if that returns false, then we're going to move on and we're going to create an embed. So we're going to do embed equals next chord dot embed. And inside here, we're going to put in title, which is just going to be called a Q. And then inside here, we're going to do Q equals equals VC dot Q dot copy. And this will return the queue inside of an array format. And now, once we have that, we can do for song in queue. We're just gonna, and also create instantiate another empty variable saying song underscore count equals zero. You'll see why we need that. We're gonna do song underscore count plus equals one. And I spelled song wrong. And then we're gonna do em dot add underscore field name equals song num and then do song underscore count and then in the value itself we're going to do song i guess equals just f string that and do song dot title if that wants to work like so and that's essentially it. last thing we want to do is just send it 
where we can do await ctx.send embed equals em and yeah that's literally it that's your entire q code and loop and everything in between like here and it's pretty cool it's right now we're at 160 lines of code and now what we're going to do is we're going to hop into discord and we're actually going to test it out here i am in my discord server and i'm in my recording voice channel there should be some text over here about a fix for like what do you call it the um it checks whether like your voice channel is matched up with the bots just get rid of that else if statement if your code doesn't work but here uh here in my play command i'm gonna do rainy day glow stick i'm gonna play my song right here but now if i play another one like i just wasted Then it'll add it. And now, if I even check my queue, you'll see right there. I could play the close it again. And then queue, and it's right there. Now, if I do loop. And yeah, I changed up the messages just so they're a bit more fun, I guess. And here, which I'm actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fast forward through this until the song is completely done playing because I don't think you want to wait through this. Okay, so the song just ended and now it's playing a different one. Just so I'm gonna turn on the loop and, ten seconds of your life. and it should loop again. I See? And it's just, just playing the same exact song again. Even though I have another song after, check the queue, I have another one after, it's just gonna keep on playing it. And that's basically how it works. So that's essentially it. That's a loop and queue command in discord.py. And I'm gonna actually, it's annoying. But yeah, in next code using Wavelink, that is how you make a queue and loop command. I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, let's take care. See ya!